Participants in the 2012 Earth Artist Program were asked to complete a project connected to environmental awareness. EPA awarded a school from each New England state and worked with the sponsoring teacher to document and share the student's success. Well, art is something that normally makes people uh, stop and reflect. And since we, that's what we want, we made some energy saving tips, put them on bags so that hopefully people will stop and look at them and they'll reflect, look at the energy saving tips and put into practice what we have on those bags. We wanted people to use um, our bags instead of plastic bags. We sold them at school for Earth, uh, before Earth Day to get the word out. We made public service announcements to put on our website and we made little skits to help save energy. Um, and we put them out before Earth Day so it would give people uh, a couple examples to save, help save the Earth. Well, we wanted more people to be more aware of the environmental issues that's going on um, so that then they can just make simple changes in their lives to protect the earth. We need to keep our environment clean and healthy for the next generations to come and this is the only earth that we have so we need to protect it. Well these students are 9 and 10 years old and if they learn about environmental issues now they'll probably be able to start now changing little things to help save our environment and possibly um, share that with their parents and other people that they know, so hopefully we can make a difference. In 1972, at the age of 26, Paul Keogh began the Earth Artist Program. A strong believer in environmental education, he became EPA's first direct link to New England schools, engaging them with the ideas of environmental awareness, stewardship, and sustainability. 